What's up, guys? Baker here. Uh, today I've got the uh, <coughs> the infamous screen fracture. That's what I'm going to call it. And um, I didn't really want to, you know, show everybody this just because I was having too much fun and I didn't want it to get overused. And um, but seeing how a couple people have already done tutorials on it by now, I might as well just release uh, my version anyway. So here's what I got. So uh, I didn't spend too much time on this, but you can kind of get the basic idea. I got some little pieces and screen fractures and kill feed zoom and stuff. And uh, what's cool about this is uh, you can uh, do it with any clip. So if you have Twixter, some people wanted to say, oh, um, mask it and scale it up. Well, you can't mask something with uh, Twixter. And um, what if you have like text or other effects that you want to get affected? Well, you can do it this way by using an adjustment layer. So that's the whole key here. So we'll go ahead and just make an adjustment layer real quick. And I'll just call this the uh, cut one, I guess. Doesn't matter. And um, whenever I like to do uh, short effects like this, I like to trim my layers by just doing Alt Begin Bracket. Now, if you don't know what the Begin Bracket is, some people don't. Uh, know what that means in other languages it's this one okay not that one or whatever just a regular beginning bracket all right now that's out of the way so the basic thing here is um an effect i use transform some people have been saying magnify works which it does and it's cool but it's kind of limited because it only has a uh, scale you know so we'll drag on transform and we have you know rotation, we've got skew, we've got some crazy things that you can never do with uh, just magnify. So, <clears throat> first problem I want to address real quick is if you want to scale something like the kill feed on the side, if you scale it up, it scales from the center. Now to fix that, you have to change the anchor point. So if we change the anchor point to the kill feed, it slides everything over. So how do we fix that? We have to change the position over here as well. So um, that can get really tedious and stuff. So what you want to do is actually alt-click on either the anchor point or position, alt-click, and pick whip to the other one, position. Now this may seem, you know, complex or, you know, too hard. Well, come on, guys. It's like two steps, and it's, it's awesome, all right? You, you can take a long way. Anyways, now we can change the uh, anchor point thingy to wherever you want, and it won't uh, move the clip out of the frame, and uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, so I'll reset this right back to the center. Computer's a little slow right now. Anyways, so what I did is a combination of this and some twitch. So let's go ahead and uh, mask where we want a glitch to happen. So. Um, just two kind of types that I did. One are just little triangles that go across the screen like this. So that's uh, pretty cool. I'll keep that one from that. And uh, let's go ahead and scale this up. I use uh, about 125 is, is pretty good. Um, typically these glitches you want to happen pretty fast. So I'm going to keep it around 30 frames, about half a second. And just trim it with Alt and bracket. Alright, so um, first thing I kind of want to do is give it a little bit of life with some mask animation. So push M, mask path, keyframe, move to the end, and uh, just kind of grab the, uh, the points and just, I don't know, randomize it just a little bit. So it's just like, you know, so it's not so static. Cool. Um, next thing I did was uh, added some Twitch. So if you have Twitch by Video Copilot, pretty sweet plugin. Drop that on. Um, we'll change, we'll go to enable and we'll add some slide and a little bit of light. All right. So on the slide, uh, we can leave it about 50 right now. What you want to do is uh, right at the beginning, keyframe the global amount from 100 to four just a little bit, keyframe it down to zero, almost to the end. Let's push uh, U to see the keyframes. And uh, hold on. There we go. Twitch, keyframe, back at zero again. And at the very end, up to 100. B 
because I want the twitch to kind of give us a shaky uh, transition into the glitch so it's not so it's pop right on and it's got a scale on it and then it'll kind of shake off at the end so that's cool maybe add a little bit of RGB split maybe 25% so not much but glitchy pew pew alright um, so again, yeah, if you want, you can do back up to transform and, you know, skew it and make it go crazy and do some rotation, lots of, uh, extra controls. Whoa, trippy. Anyways, um, what else? So when you want more glitches, you can just go ahead and duplicate your cut or your glitch, slide it over maybe 10 frames, push M and just change the mass path keyframes. So maybe this one you want um, over here, and uh, you know, across the screen, and just kind of, kind of randomize it, like go that way, sharp one like that. And the other kind of glitch I was gonna talk about is just the one that fills half the screen, maybe like that might look cool. Let's see, let's go to the end keyframe, and uh, fix these keyframes up a little bit. So I don't know, just kind of randomize it like that. Let's see how this looks. Whoa! I think I switched the keyframes. Maybe this one should go over nya. And this one over nya. Alright, cool. So, that's looking pretty cool so far. And, uh, looks very glitchy and screen fracture-y. Kind of see how that's, uh, let me zoom to fit for you guys. Cool. And it, uh, glitches off so that makes it pretty nice. Now for the kill feed, I already have this um oops zoom out here. Twixter back here. It's got a five man feed. So I'll just go ahead and duplicate the cut and bring it over to display somewhere here. And we'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit so we can fix the mask. So let me just temporarily turn off the twitch. And we'll go ahead and um Push U, mask path. Okay. So I'm going to move it, well, move the mask, little anchor point thingies. So it kind of cuts out the um, kill feet. I would need to change the anchor point position thing that we talked about so we can kind of see the kill feet better. So just move it over. I don't know if you can see this right now. Move it over until you get a uh, nice position for that. Okay. Now we'll go to the end of the mask path and uh, zoom out again, sorry about that. And just have it cut out again, maybe change the keyframes just a little bit so it kind of either grows or changes a little bit, see like that. And we can extend it and take off the end two keyframes for the twitch. So it just twitches on and then uh, it'll stay on. So we'll turn the twitch back on and it kind of twitches. Beep. And there you go, with some Twixter. I'll make the Twixter a little bit faster just so you can kind of see. And uh, here we go. And yeah, there you go. So the basic idea here is just adjustment layer. I use Transform, you can use Magnify, but Transform, we got some cool other settings if you want to go over them. And uh, mask the adjustment layer and add a little bit of Twitch in the end in the beginning. And that's about it. So um, it's going to be overused. I'm sorry. So if you want to use it, go ahead. I, it was really fun while it lasted for me. But um, maybe I can come up with some uh, new effects and stuff. So anyways, go ahead and like the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Possibly a favorite or a share or something like that. Um, anyways, that's about it. I am... Oh, yeah.